appreciate the media, by the way. You too, man. You too, man. Hey, thank you for having me, y'all. This is awesome. I can commentate, have some fun. And, um, commentate that last part. Richards is on uh, and Awesome. So, Rogers. All right. Now, who's your favorite in this? Is it a bit? Yes. Well, in this whole event, my favorite was actually, uh, um, Katie Mel. She did awesome, you know, I um, helped coach Katie for the fight, I told her what to do, and she did everything exactly, it was perfect, she done it, so proud of her. Also, I'm proud of Carlos, she did perfect, awesome, excellent. Have you seen Katie Merrill going for some, like, strike force, going for that championship anytime soon? 100%, 100%. Katie Merrill can be the next uh, strike force champion. If she trains hard, and dedication that she does, she will be, 100%. Sounds great, dude. So we got Ronda Rogers versus Rich Clemente. Who's your favorite out of this one and why? Uh, I'm gonna say Rogers. I saw Rogers before, some fight before, and he's pretty good, well rounded. So I'm gonna go with Rogers with this one. Excellent. So what have you been up to lately? Besides all the training and such. Man, I've been traveling, doing certain events, new training partners, I've been in CFA. Uh, I just did a show with them in Miami. I uh, fought Dennis Olsen, it was a good fight. I won the unanimous decision since then. I'm just traveling, heading back, man, and I'll uh, try and get some wins in. And uh, hopefully um, make my way back to the UFC, man. That's the plan, man. Sounds fantastic, dude. Uh, if you can fight anybody that you fought before again, who would you want to fight? 100% Jake Ellenberger. I, I um I called out Jay Oliver. I respect him. He's a good guy, man. Real cool. But um I believe that I didn't quit that fight. The doctors stopped the fight because they felt I was in danger. I know my body. I know myself. I want that um fight. I actually think when he gets a chance to fight GSP, he's gonna beat GSP. But I feel that um when me and him fight again, it's gonna be uh my victory. I remember that fight, and I do agree with well, you. That you one that, you know, the doctors got him way too soon. Did you really tell you were in danger? You know, and like you said, you know your body. Every fighter knows what they can take. Exactly. That's why I agree, man. I don't like that. I'm proud of him. He did a real good job, man. I mean, I'm not taking out against him. He did what he's supposed to do. And uh, commission stepped in and did what they did. But I just think, um, and I just know, man, I, I deserve that rematch. And uh, I think it will be um, a hell of a fight. Now, who would you love to fight, though? Right now, who I'd like to fight? Um... Honestly, man, if it's not GSP for the title, I'm gonna say um, Koscheck, man. I like Matt Koscheck at the um, uh, UFC Summit. Um, Interesting character. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And um, I think that'd be a good fight for me and him, man. <laughs> I would love to see that. See, I know I spent a lot of time talking about Koscheck's character myself. So, you know, because I've actually got a chance to meet him at another event. And yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, man. I definitely want to fight him, man. Um, I, that's, that's the guy I want to fight. Um, I was I was gonna say Johnson, but I heard Johnson's going to 185, which is my shock because that kid is so big. He walks in one um, like 230, but you know I'm not going up to 185 to fight him. But if he comes back to like 170, I'll definitely take that fight 100. Well, percent That's always good to hear. Now you train out of White Crew. Yes. Now, why'd you uh, choose White Crew? White Crew has unbelievable stand-up, man. Uh, we have the, some of the best grapplers, some of the best unboxing in White Crew, and they're just treating me good, man. Um, um, Crew John Allen, um, um, thank you. That's the head instructor of White Crew. Told me that he could take my striker to the next level where to be, and he did, and because he did, you know, I'm in the UFC. Well, was in the UFC, went for, um, four wins in a row, man. I did excellent. Even though the fights I lost, I did excellent, man. So it's because of him, of uh, his training, that you know, I am where I am today. Now, I know there were some questions after you were released from the UFC about the reasons behind it. I know you had posted some things on your Facebook page about it, and there were some things put out there about how you felt about other fighters who weren't over the same situation. Yeah, I, I feel, man, uh, you talk about Dan Hardy, how he wasn't cut, and I was yeah. cut, man, and it wasn't fair. You know, I respect Dan Hardy. He's a cool guy in person, but I just feel, you know, this should be a set rule. If I lost three fights in a row, okay, I get cut. Everybody who you lose in the UFC, three, fight, three fights in a row, Three fights in the world should um should be um should be cut, you know, but it should be no favorites, you know. But I'm not trying to disrespect the UFC, then the way Joe Silva, nobody like that. I'm just saying what's fair is fair, you know. So if you give me an opportunity again, you know, I fight Dan Hardy if I had to, you know. Let's let's fight, let let's fight. And if I lose, then kick me out of the UFC permanently. If I stay, you know, then kick him out of the UFC. Whatever's well, good, you know. I'm I'm here. Wow. Now your last fight was a victory over Dan Olson or Dennis Olson, sorry, yep. which is a local fighter. Yep. 
Now, did you know him previous to this fight, or...? Yes, now let me explain the beef. The guys don't know the beef between me and Dennis. What the beef was is, he beat one of my good teammates, um, um, Chandler uh, Holdenson, and um, he beat him with the guillotine, which was real shocking. I hold Chandler in high, respectable as a fighter, and he's one of my best um, training partners I ever had, and he beat him. Well, Dennis thought because he beat him, he could beat me. And I told Dennis, it's like, look, there's a reason why he's in, not in the UFC and I am. You know, even though I respect him as a high-level caliber fighter, you know, there's a reason why the, the, we are in different places at, uh, at that point of our careers. So, you know, so that's how the beef um, started, you know, and that's what happened. And we went to CFA, went to Miami, settled it. You know, I won a unanimous decision. And after that, man, it was cool, man. Dennis was a uh, cool guy, man. We might train together. You know, he has a lot of talent. I'm pretty sure, you know, no, check that. I'm 99 point, point whatever percent sure he's going to make it to the UFC, man. I mean, so, uh, I mean, I got confidence in him. I just think he's not at the same level yet, but he's definitely going to get there. Fight coming. Do you have anything in the works or? Honestly, to tell you too, I got something really huge, big in the works. Next year gonna happen. I can't announce it because I'm on the contract. But it's, but put it like this, it's big, it's huge. It's almost a close tier to UFC. Okay. You know what I'm saying it's gonna it's gonna be on TV. It's gonna be wild. It's gonna be something. Some big names are in this um show, and I can't say nothing. That's all I can really say about it. But you have to watch it. When they announce it, I would be a part of it. And you'd be shocking. From beginning to end, what they're offering and what they're giving, because it's amazing. It's gonna put, um, it's, gonna, it's giving uh, a lot of fighters a fighting chance to be professional athletes and make some professional athlete money. Now, what sort of advice can you give to all of those people out there who want to be part of MMA, who want to go out there and try their luck in the octagon? Try it, you know, come down, train hard, man, you know. Uh, unfortunately, uh, MMA is not for everybody, but if you think you have the heart and balls, basically, come down and train, man. Go to your local uh, MMA gym, you know, if you can, then go train. See how you like it, man. People think it's one thing, is this easy uh, sport. It's not. We're the toughest sport athletes out there. You know, uh, no disrespect to NBA, NFL, and any other um, sport out there, even boxing. We're tougher than anything out there in the world. So if you think you're ready, you think you're capable enough, even pro athletes or ex-pro athletes, come to your local MMA school and see, um, see what you're made of. It's a whole different strategy. It's a whole nother level of it. It's it's a whole different everything, man. It's it's whole. It has everything. It's it's just it's just that. It's it's almost it's, it's just amazing, man. And the people we come across and think they get, they are super athletes and they do MMA, they realize they're really not. You know. So I offer, I challenge anybody who thinks who's a top tier athlete to come to MMA and see how you hang. And it's just amazing how the perspective of MMA has changed in such a great way these past few years as well. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, man. I mean, um, look at the UFC. They just announced the fight tonight, actually, on Fox. You know, you know I can't wait to see that fight. Actually, I got to help you up and go see that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's just growing, man. You know, Fox Sports took out on UFC, so that says a lot. The sport's growing, man. So I'm really happy to see it. Now, you know, hopefully, Fox can reach it out to other um, leagues like this one. And hopefully, uh, we'll see that MMA is a growing sport and it's the next big thing. And But it's, uh, it's about time to um, hop on the bandwagon. What caught you into MMA itself? MMA, this is weird for me. MMA kind of fell in my lap, you know. People who don't know my history, you know, I went to job court to get my high school diploma and get my um, A and B electrician you know, apprenticeship in um, electrical. Um, I met this guy who was a real good grappler that had a boxing background and um, one day he had a class and he was, he was like, you want to spar? I said, uh, he's like, let's do all, all rounds. I was like, you want a street fight? I was like, I don't know about this. He's like, I'm, I'm not going to hit you. I'm going to grab I'm gonna grab you and submit you. I was like, whatever, man. He took me down and he whipped my ass so bad it wasn't even funny. Then after that, I said, can you show me that? How'd you whip my ass? He taught me, man. You know, I graduated, I graduated Job Corps, long story short. You know, came to Boston, got into a school, and, you know, I just went into it. I kind of ran with it. I ran with MMA. That's always good. Now, I had a guy make a comment to me the other day, and I want you to address it. Yep. He told me that boxers could come over to MMA and shred uh, MMA fighter. Now, of course, myself as you know, fighting for, I argue it to the T, but let's get it from somebody that's been in the UFC. My comment to that is like, yeah, sure they can. Just like what Tony, uh, uh, <laughs> that was Tony yes. did to Randy Couture. Uh, what happened there? You know what I'm uh -oh. saying? Matter of <laughs> fact, that wasn't even a fight. Randy Couture played with him. Played with him. I think Randy Couture was warming up drinking a beer. 
No, and that, that, that's, that's the zip I'm gonna use. You, if you saw the fight, you know, boxers are, they're, they're good athletes. I give them that. But they're not us. You know, they, they can't compare. They wouldn't, I, they, they wouldn't dare compare, you know. And if any boxer dare to have a challenge to come through, you know, unless you get some proper technique and MMA training, okay, if you think your, just your boxer's gonna work, you're gonna get destroyed. I just remember the look in James Tony's eyes when just Rand oh, Couture yeah. took him out. It was like a deer out of the headlights right there. Definitely, man. He was out of his element and he couldn't believe what was happening, man. And it, it's just, that's the zimba right there. That's what MMA is. It takes a, a, a skillful boxer who's an Olympi Olympian, gold medalist, okay, have all these fights fought, some of the best fighters in the world, and took Randy Contour, what? 20 seconds? I don't know, a minute, not even that. And if it wasn't even over a minute, because he was playing, I think he was bored. He was, he, and he was nice. He didn't even hurt him. He submitted him, and it was nice about it. So that there, therefore, it shows you the elite different levels between boxing and MMA. Okay, boxing is titans. MMA are gods. It's kind of like why Alistair Overeem went and over to MMA, but at least he looked into it and said, "Okay, this is how I got to train. It's not like boxing at all." Exactly. Uh, when he went to MMA, he got the proper training and the proper techniques to do MMA. And look at him now. He's fighting Bright Lesson soon. Um, and that's going to be a great fight. But he, he has a uh, hell of a career, you know, and he's doing real good. He submitted Vita Bell for it. Uh, that's on the center already. So he did really good, really good. Well, unfortunately, this event's over. We're going to start clearing out. I want to thank uh, Doomsday Howard for taking some time to spend with us. And uh, good luck in your next uh, fight. Uh, thank you very much. Real quick, man, I get a shout out to uh, some of my sponsors, Black Eye Fighter. Uh, shout out to White Crew, my school. Uh, check me out on Facebook. You gotta watch my Facebook. I post some funny stuff. It's always funny. Uh, become my uh, friend and not my fan, or both, whatever. And uh, check me out on, on Twitter, John Doomsday. You know, I'm always tweeting something stupid. You know, and um, check me out. And thank you so much. Also. Dude. He's always got some really good stuff going on Facebook, too. Uh, I, I love the latest stuff, man. Oh, the la la latest stuff is crazy, man. I, I play games, man. I, I like to have fun. I like to live life, man. Uh, people get offense to it, but people who have the system, you understand, it's just a joke. No uh, no uh, mean or no um, disrespect intended. But it is what it is, man. We have fun, man. And that's why I am. Fun. Fantastic, dude. Thank you so much, guys. It's been awesome. Who won? That's Rock. Who's that? Uh, they're about to announce it. Are they about to Let's see. Rich Plavente. Oh wow! Oh, that's upsetting. Oh, I called it wrong. Well, congratulations, Rich. I just saw you with a guillotine. I stayed up guillotine on that. It was real it was real impressive. I'm sorry we didn't get to picture the fight for so much, but good job, man. Good luck in your career, man.